Now that you've had a chance to download the clip art that we're going to be working with, I want you to go and open up the program that you're going to be creating within. Now, I know many people choose to use PowerPoint to create in, but I prefer Keynote. I have a MacBook Pro, and this is just my ideal um, working station. So I recommend Keynote to you, but if you are using PowerPoint, probably all the things I'm explaining right now are going to apply, okay? So don't get discouraged. You can still follow along in this tutorial and make it work if you are using PowerPoint. So the first thing I'm gonna point out is that our slide size, which is indicated over here, so here I have um, documents selected in the top right corner, and then when I go down, it tells me the slide size. It says standard four by three. We do not want this aspect ratio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go um, to these little blue arrows here, and we're gonna go down to customize slide size, okay? We want our width to be 1400, and we want our height to be 1000, okay? This is per recommendations from Boom Learning, and this is just the first step I always take when I'm creating, okay? So now all of our slides have changed to this larger size, and what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're going to simply be um, inserting our clip art into our, our working file, okay? So let's go ahead and start that process. So at the top we have Keynote, File, Edit, Insert. Go ahead and click on Insert, and you're gonna go down to the bottom and hit Choose. So I'm going to go to the downloads, I'm already here actually, but the way I got to this is I went to my downloads, because we just downloaded it, right? And then I went to the game pieces, and I opened it up. Now here you'll notice that we have a store logo from the clip artist who created these for us, and if you are making this to sell, um, or making something in the future to sell, you would want to include their logo. But if you're simply just doing this for your students, you can disregard this, but still please go back and say thank you to them. So here are our game pieces. Okay, now we have many choices, and I have designated for our game that we're going to select four of them. Okay, now you could click one at a time and insert it, right? But this is going to be time consuming, and I don't want it to be time consuming for you. So instead of taking one at a time and sizing each one down, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to go to insert, choose, and then you are going to select the colors that you want. Okay, I think we actually want this color this color, this color, and this color. Now, you'll notice that I selected all four at one time, and that's because I hit Command with my left finger on my keyboard, and then I clicked on all of them with my right, uh, right hand, okay? <laughs> so then we're gonna insert them, and you'll notice all four of them come together. Now, they're all way too big, all right? So instead of sizing them individually, we're going to go like this, and then we're gonna go to Format, and then say Group. Okay, and now when we resize them, they all are gonna be the identical size, okay? And it's just saved you a ton of time. So we're gonna go over here and make sure to ungroup them so that we can actually access them, all right? And then we're gonna get rid of that dark blue one because we are not using it. So I simply click on it and I'm gonna hit delete and it's gone. Now, I want you to go and do this by yourself, okay? You're gonna repeat the same process. You go up to insert, go to your downloads, and you're gonna find everything on this page. So go ahead and pause it so that you have a visual of this page. This is all you need. And um, it should only take you about maybe one or two minutes to go and do, okay? So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.